Hi everyone, welcome to Do Daily. Wake up to walk ish. It's a bit late for that. Des here, checking in for the final time this week. And whilst it's not quite so early as I normally get on on a Friday, when I do get on, it's good to be out and starting to attack the weekend. Got some nice things to look forward to, some of the things I particularly enjoy. So it's about being positive and enthusiastic and trying to process everything. If I'm completely honest, feeling really tired today. So whilst I didn't get up and do this first thing as I'd hoped, I'm kind of glad that I waited till now. As you can see, I'm in my usual location, Trent Bridge behind me there, down by the river. And as it always is, it's quite serene, quiet, kind of a cold, murky evening. Murky, that's a proper Nottingham word. Um, it's, kind of, it's, it's kind of that kind of, it's that kind of evening, so there's not that many people about. So it's great to just get on and do this. I decided at home to put myself in a slightly better frame of mind. I needed to get up and do a little bit of a walk. Just starting to feel a little bit irritable, if I'm honest. The injury means I want to get out and do a run, but frustrated because it's been a busy week at work. Lots to do, lots to get through. Not complaining, that's life, isn't it? That's, that's what pays the bills, it's what we have to do. Everybody has to do the same thing. But I just feel like I need something to sort of take my mind off that and break break the shackles. It's not just work, you know, just, just one or two things. Been speaking all week about creating positive energy. And again, I guess right now, that's exactly what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to create a bit of positive energy by getting up so I can enjoy the last couple of hours with Kay, relax. We're gonna have some, something nice to eat. You know, a couple of drinks and then, like I say, look forward to the things and a little bit of a, a little bit of our time at the weekend, whichever way we do it. My personal way is I am actually going to do a part one. I'm going to test the foot to some degree. I know it's not fantastic. I'm not going to take any unnecessary chances on it. I'll be cautious and if it's not working, you know, I'll have to walk. So I'm off to part one in the morning and that'll be on the way to football. And of course, I love tying those two things in. So for whatever frame of mind and as however irritable I am right now, you know, that gives me an opportunity to look forward to the weekend and do good things. And like I say, this walk, even though it's not at that time that I like to do it, there's always an opportunity to get out and enjoy the fresh air and the surroundings and use it to bring us around to some degree. Talk about nature, mentioned it on Wednesday and how it impacts our mental health. Whilst still really, really positive about lots of things, you know, because of work and busyness and life just taking a hold a little bit and the injury just holding me back. You know, it's just, just creeping up on me. But I'd hope by having the motivation to get out and do this this evening, you know, to get my walk in, to take in my surroundings and acknowledge the issue, I feel a lot better for it. And when I wake up in the morning, I'll be rearing to go again. If not, when I get home and have a shower, you know, I'll be ready to sit down and relax. And it's not something I've had much opportunity to do this week so again I've got to take that positive as I haven't I I could have sat there all night and wallowed and moaned and groaned and been fed up with myself and sort of feeling sorry for myself about the injury but I'm up and about you know and hopefully I'll get those endorphins flowing I'll get back on the sofa eventually eat my tea and feel good for what I've done and that's all I'm trying to do. And I, I try and pass this message on every week. You know, in the morning, it's good for me to get up and attack my last day at work and feel good about Friday. We all like that Friday feel good feeling. Or the happy Friday, as it seems to be the way these days. 
but sometimes you just have to make it happen it's not been happening for me in that sense uh definitely this week but on a friday morning it's not been happening but again i'm just uh doing whatever i can to make sure we make the most of it being in the fresh air already you know i've probably been out 10 minutes come out got around the corner put the video on as i'm down the river you know chatting away processing everything looking at my surroundings taking in the fresh air it's making me feel a million times better and i guess this is just one of those sort of honest episodes where i, I let, let on that things aren't perfect things aren't 100 percent just felt myself getting a little bit irritable with the dog you know and not not really with Kay but we, we chatted about how tired we both are but I just felt I needed to get out the door and sometimes that's just the answer isn't it a short walk 10 seconds when they when people say count to 10 you know they do it for a reason because sometimes it works just that little bit of time out on your own and taking a breather processing it thinking of what you can do to make it slightly better and taking it forward and that's all i'm doing you know fortunately i get a fantastic place to roam around when i just need a few minutes again to show you where i am you've seen it a million times if you've watched do daily before down by the river and then down towards upstream towards the suspension bridge but wherever you are take an opportunity to do it you know especially if you're not feeling fantastic if you're feeling great the motivation is easy i jump up and do it anyway so it's brilliant it's absolutely brilliant in that sense on a friday just somehow to find a few minutes to do some activity to get those endorphins flowing like i say that's the important side of it hopefully the wind's not too bad right now that's the really really important side of it to get that good feeling about yourself and if it just takes a few steps apologies for the wind if it takes just a few steps and a bit of fresh air and the wind in your face to change your outlook then it's an opportunity to take it as i've said throughout this episode i've been talking this week in particular about using positive energy I think what's really happened to me today and through no fault of my, my own but it's what I've been advising all week is I've not really surrounded myself with any positive energy spent a lot of time on my own at work digging through tasks again it's not always possible in that situation but when I've come home Kay's had things to do I've had things to do just not had that chance to sort of pick myself up on a day where I'm not quite feeling it. So it's so important, isn't it? And it, again, without sort of talking about those things earlier in the week, I would, I might not have got up and done what I'm doing. I might not want to put things right, but I know by doing it, by doing this, go home and positive conversations with Kay, enjoy our food, enjoy a drink. You know, I'll be rearing to go for that busy weekend, or for that exciting weekend ahead. It's another trip to London for the football, which seems to be every other week at the moment. But it's what I do, it's what I enjoy. So let's not be complacent. It does seem a lot of effort traveling up and down, you know, every weekend going somewhere different. I've of course done the London Marathon. I've been here, there and everywhere in the last few months. So I think all that's just catching up a little bit. The, the marathon itself, tiredness I'm feeling from from that and my body even though I'd love to go out for a run and try and shake some of that out so I can't be too sort of complacent because I'll be moaning in a couple of weeks when football season's over it's all gone and I haven't got it to look forward to I'll be moaning I'm bored hopefully I won't because I'll be being positive and enthusiastic and I'll be able to get out for a run and that'll pick me up and <laughs> sort of put me in a better frame of mind but you know what I mean it's, it's something I really really enjoy I have to work around it through my content stuff again wouldn't change that for the for the world don't have to do it now but um, 
I do do it. So it's something I really, really enjoy. So what I'm getting to with all this, this, this particular point is where I'm at right now. Again, if I let tonight manifest into something more than it should be, do you know, just a little bit, just a, not in the best mood, but if I let it manifest into sort of, oh, life's against me and I'm feeling down and things aren't going right this week and, and getting really fed up and letting it affect my mental health, then it'd be difficult to get up again in the morning, wouldn't it? And, and be positive about what I'm doing there. But I know, first thing, of course they're nice things, so it's that little bit easier to get up for. But I know first thing, I'll be up and at it and in a much better place. Take that into a rest day on Sunday, you know, really, really looking forward to that. Got one or two things to do, the running club, one or two commitments. But again, it's a rest day and I've got to make the most of it. Feeling the way I have, that is an opportunity. Sometimes I put too much pressure on myself to do too many things at the same time. In this frame of mind, what we really have to do is not put that pressure on. You know, just be calm, calculated. And if it's all going a bit tits up, just go out for a walk. Go out and do the things that make you feel a little bit better. And already, as I've said, this has definitely done that. Feeling much more in tune with the day. Feel like I've done something on my terms. You know, without being selfish, that's important, isn't it? We have to put ourselves first. All we talk about to, to, to make any difference to anyone else, we've got to put ourselves first. Hopefully, my positivity, when I get home, we'll rub off onto Kay. And as I keep mentioning him, we'll have a really, really nice evening. Not that, not that I'm saying Kay's been particularly negative, but some of my negativity is probably rubbing off on Kay at the moment. When I get home, hopefully we can just sort of do what we need to do and just sign off the week, you know, as one of those to some degree. Been working really, really hard this week, guys, to use that positive energy around me, what's been created. It's been the theme I mentioned last night through no real intention. I don't set these things up. I talk about what's on my mind. Obviously, at the moment, Kay, Kay actually said to me last night after Thursday Thoughts, um, how do you link everything back in? She says she won't be able to do that. I'm like, because I'm so honest with it, you know, it's what's at the forefront of my mind. And that's what Do Daily is all about. Every day, every week, it's about me coming on, trying to be honest, realistic, relatable. You know, it's very raw. You get what you see, it's my daily vlog. But what I do hope, somewhere, somehow, it helps people who might be experiencing the same feelings or it might help them understand where they're feeling and where they are in the process. And that's what I like to do on a Friday. Sign off in a positive frame of mind, you know, looking forward to things, realizing when it didn't quite go to plan, that there was reasons for it, can enjoy the next couple of days and then we're back at it on Monday because we can always go again. Have a fantastic weekend, guys, whatever you're doing. Love to hear about it. Do drop me a comment. Do you know, perhaps that will inspire me, put me in a good mood. Always like to see people winning, you know, not one of these people who get jealous or envy envious of what others are celebrating or enjoying. It's fantastic, isn't it? And again, we have to share. That's a great way of sharing positive energy. So whatever you're doing, have an absolutely brilliant one again. Please give this episode a thumbs up. I'd really, really appreciate that. Please subscribe if you're new to the channel. I'm going to extend my walk just a little bit. Perhaps take one or two videos of the tent and again show you this fantastic location I live in. Until Monday, just doing it.
Thank you.